a posterior subcapsular cataract. You can see the pseudo exfoliation in this eye. There is no glaucoma. 2.8 millimeter translimbal keratometry, little longer than usual, starts from anterior most clear, and there is an, a there is a small uh, frill of conjunctiva left, you know, in the uh, tunnel entry area. AC is filled deep with viscoelastic. HPMC is the preferred uh, viscoelastic, so as not to shallow the chamber and leak the uh, visco. I have entered the chamber through the cystitome, through the floor of the tunnel at the limbus. So uh, it avoids uh, shallowing of the chamber and also the uh, overlock effect is totally avoided. You can, without wrinkling the cornea, you can do the entire uh, rexis. The width of the rexis is about 5.1 millimeter. As you saw, I use one of the keratome to measure the width of the uh, Rexis. Nucleus and epinucleus are not separated from each other. There is only a capsular separating hydrodissection done. Nucleus can be easily uh, rotated and brought into the anterior chamber. It is bisected using a support of mini wire vectus behind, which is very, very small in size as compared to the standard ones. And uh, the 25 gauge cannula continuously injects the Viscoelastic. I have, now I am using a different kind of uh, wire vectus which is very slim and narrow. I call it as a narrow vectus and uh, that is ideally suited to remove the heminucleus out of the anterior chamber without uh, endangering the endothelium. The visco is continuously being injected in front of the nucleus, moving nucleus so that endothelium is maximally protected. Uh, a Simco cannula is used to irrigate and aspirate irrigate PSS and aspirate the cortex out of the capsular bag. Because of the uh, capsular separating hydrodissection, the process of cortical aspiration is pretty easy. It doesn't take much time. And uh, sub-incisional cortex is aspirated using the uh, J-shaped uh, Simco cannulas. These Simco cannulas are mounted on silicone bulb and uh, with my fingertips I can control the amount of flow which is very low. The entire surgery needs about 15 to 20 milliliters of BSS and uh, the vacuum that you create by a 5 milliliter syringe in the left hand is incompatible with any other technique. The minute variations in the um, pressure inside the anterior chamber and balancing of anterior and posterior pressures in the eye can be uh, easily done using controlled infusion as well as controlled aspiration. The lens is implanted in the capsular bag, as you can see now. The rexis is smaller than the diameter of the cap. The uh, eye oil. The visco in the entire eye is removed, especially in the capsular bag, as well as in the angle region, so that pressure does not increase postoperatively. That's the end of surgery.